hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to share with you guys the protein treatment that i use to take care of my natural hair i blend two eggs a half avocado a half of aloe vera plant and a quarter cup of olive oil virgin olive oil and this is what it comes out and that's what it looks like it's very smooth and creamy and we're going to apply that to our hair my hair have grown so much in the last year since i've started using this protein treatment i have my hair in some box braid before so now i just want to go back in and put some love into my natural hair by putting some um, protein treatment in there and that will seal the moisture back into my hair I get so excited when it's time to put this treatment in because I know the result that I'm going to get from it. I try to do this treatment at least once a month. I'll give you guys a little backstory on my hair. Five years ago, I cut my ear off. I'll insert a few pictures to show you the length that I cut it off too. I had lots of damage from eat and also from relaxing my ear over the years. I so regret ever relaxing my hair. Um, I wear extension, wig, weaves here and there, but I will never relax my hair again. I am a natural girl for life, and I am so excited to keep my journey going. My growth was stunned for about two or three years. I wasn't seeing any result. My hair wasn't growing much, but no, I use Aussie shampoo, condition, the whole line for Aussie, and I absolutely love it. It loves my hair. If I could go back, I would just spend a lot of time learning how to actually style and manage my own hair by applying water when it's dry or just get um, stuff to divide my hair. I used to just go at it with a comb, whether it was wet or dry, just trying to manage it. And my hair was always a lot, so I just relaxed it to make my journey easy. But in actual fact, it was just ruining my hair. I'm so happy now to see all the representation that's on TV that represent our ear texture. I love seeing Serena Williams, Venus, Coco Golf. I love seeing all those girls rocking their natural hair. Leave me a comment telling me how is your natural journey going and when did you start your journey? Now that I finish applying all my treatment, I like to run my end all the way down to the end. I like to make sure all my ends get covered properly because it's the oldest part of your hair. So it needs the moisturizing and that love the most. So here I am. I'm going to put two hats on. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I'm going to leave that on for one hour. I already sit for an hour and now I am back. I'm going to take my steam cap off or my shower cap and I'm going to show you what my hair looks like and then I'm going to head to the bathroom to get it washed out. I like to use my Aussie shampoo and conditioner to wash my hair. Wash it with warm water, not hot water, because I also have egg in there, so I don't want it to 
overactivate the egg that's in my hair. So I just use lukewarm water. I like to take this time to give my scalp a good massage and scrub and get any built up that's in there. As I said in my last few video that I'm trying to figure out the algorithm. So if you're a small YouTuber and you're watching this video, leave me a comment. How are you making up with the algorithm? I want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're watching my video and you're enjoying it and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can expect more ear videos from me, some own videos, and also some review videos. I like to be very generous with my conditioner. I'll insert a few pictures in the end to show you guys what my hair looked like when it was completely washed. And I'll also insert a few pictures from the last time I straightened my hair and um, a few pictures of my ear journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys.